Fleet Davis is in the backfield. You look at that secondary and linebacking core. Jack Campbell is a real stalwart and quickly a curl pattern to Fleet Davis. As is Daryl Jones and Jarrett, Rakim Jarrett, is the go-to guy on down and distance plays. Swing out to Fleet Davis. Well defended Campbell and Belton, the linebackers, and an incredibly gifted secondary led by Kerner and Moss. There's a deep over taking a shot, Tim. And it's Demas. Look at that move after the catch. That's wide receiver. They'll go pace and tempo and use it as a tactical advantage, and let's see if they can man up an Iowa. Third down, a yard to go. They're going to throw it. Crossing pattern, and it's overthrown thing as they come. He expects a lot of himself and his teammates. On first down, wide receiver screen again. Demas. You've already seen what... Oh, coming out to block you, man. That's scary. As, as Iowa does, but they are utilizing it. Dan Enos has brought the tight end to this Maryland offense. And to help the RPOs. And then on the opposite side, you got to contend if you're going to do that. And that means pressure with the speed. Rockham Jarrett with that catch for six. Well, that's some latitude to help his guard out. Four wides. Tonga Bailoa lets it fly. Wow. It's picked off right at midfield. He didn't. Antithetical attitude than his older brother. He's got to have a snap and clear mentality. Isaiah Jacobs now in the backfield. Plenty of time here. Deep crossing pattern. It's complete. The instance was clear. Well, again, a reminder that two shell you're talking about still exists. They haven't pulled him out of it yet. A little screen action here to Jacobs. as the safety valve. Got almost like... Jacobs. And a good penetration. Let's see what happens. If there's any motion... If that safety starts to walk down, there, now he's backing out into a single two high look. Should be an opportunity. There it is. There it is. Same play, Demas. Again, uh, crossing. Second down, 15. Nice. There it is. Long curl pattern to Jones. Great pitch and catch. Great job by the receiver. Matau remains in the backfield, and this time Tonga will run it. And he's got the first down and quickly. Matau remains the setback. Play fake, and they go quick out towards the power It is touchdown, Okakwo. From expansion standpoint, you know, I believe in, the, in college football expansion, college football playoff expansion, but I just think we need to be very methodical in our, in our thought process. There's in an interception just as we're speaking, and look out, it's Jack Turner, and another turnover. They may have gotten a badge that allows him the full latitude of the offense is out of the mix. How do they navigate? Speed. Yeah. Like that guy, Tyon. But he's also got that speed element that he just demonstrated on that last play. From the 27-yard line. Talia Tonga Bailoa oh, has another one picked off. This time it's Dane Belton. Long night. Plenty of time left. That's the good news. Jeff Sweet. There he and is. Van Valkenburg. Extended elbow was bummed out. And I said, hey, man, I've been around some great ones. You're next. Phil, this is one that's next. Phil Parker, the defensive coordinator, as you referenced there. That past coordinator can have an opportunity to get back in this thing down 24. Here they are playing behind the sticks again. On third and 12. For the quarter, knocked away. Outstanding. Tell the Terps were shook. And Tonga Vailoa has thrown three interceptions. I only had one. State Farm halftime show is coming up. Guys uh, at Camp Randall will be getting ready for Big Moon tomorrow. Quick pass at the side of Iowa City. Mm -hmm. I almost turned it uh, into the Capitol again. <laughs> that's how much I love it. Here goes Tonga Vailoa. Oh, Let no, it what fly. That's, about. that's terrible. Yeah. terrible. Yeah. Oh, that's smart. I'll just put your opponent in years. All right, 35 versus Illinois in 1985. Wow. How about that? It's Van Valkenburg took the who's undersized in terms of that receiver that it was in front of. Passing. Probably come out of this, going back into a cover two shell here. There's nothing going to pull him out of it. Tonga Bailoa's pass is caught. That'll be a holding of the penalty, Tim. I actually don't see it on run, Spencer, where you're towards the sideline, and uh, 
and, and we see as we uh, because a lot of coaches now are putting their best players on special teams. That's only Maryland's second first down since the first quarter, by the way. And here's Tonga Vailoa on the run. Got him. That pass is there, and it is caught. I mean, this is just a guy trying to find a way to get open, and he does, and his quarterback makes an athletic play. 38 yards on the reception, and now Tonga Vailoa will take it. And he's got a... And Tim, <laughs> with this big lead, Phil Parker's not pressed to do anything exactly. other than that. Tonga Vailoa... On the post, in on a 10. Uh, Tonga Valoa's number is improving, albeit with four interceptions. He's 15 of 24 for 150. I feel you're not getting injured as much. It's a calculated decision, and when you're on the cusp of greatness or more, I don't blame him. Third and 10. That wow. No. Jacobs now in the backfield, and he's wrapped up behind the line again. What penetration the setback out of the shotgun for Tonga Valoa. Alia to the back open. of the end zone. Oh, it's dropped. dropped. Yep. <laughs> Third and goal. Tonga Bailoa. Nice. He's got, out. he's got his yep. man at the pylon. It's Jarrett. Time. Oh, along with Marty Feldman? Oh, Frankenstein? Are you yeah. kidding me? Well, young Frankenstein was unbelievable. Oh, but was... the movies he made with Richard Pryor were off oh, the that, charts. Yeah, it was good. But young Tonga Frankenstein Tonga Bailoa to... into the bathroom at the train station. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just say they wouldn't put that in a script of a movie now. Well, I'm going to trump okay. that as soon as this, this play is over with. <laughs> that was one of the great lines ever, uh, man. Remind, remind me to tell you a story about a football broadcast and Abby. I'll <laughs> tell you about that. It's going to make my five. Yeah. It's a long season. We'll continue to play it. Play fake to Fanaji Gote, and here's Tonga Bailoa oh, picked off again. again. Wow. Injured, and uh, boy, we wish him the best. Our prayers to him and to uh, those close to him. A oh, reverse field How about here. this from Boone? Nice job of pulling off. Hey, Boone, number three going down. Sometimes it can motivate you. Other times it keeps you in a funk, and you got to be careful yeah. about that. You know, I thought, uh, as you see Boone again taking this one out of the backfield. <laughs> uh, in 18 mm -hmm. when they won the national title. He described him as a Kuda Matata. <laughs> yeah. You know, that yeah. he just, everybody loved him. Yep. He was laid back. Deshaun Jones takes it ahead. True leader, and his teammates talk about it big time. Rockham Jarrett is a veteran for the next game, which is going to be a tough one. You know, when they take on Ohio State in Columbus at the Old Horseshoe, we'll, we'll really be interested in seeing how much uh, Sean McDonough may be working that game, one of my dearest friends in the business. That's a, that's a fun. I think that's another one of the reasons I like Cincinnati in that road game at Notre Dame. Revisit Penn State if they did enough against Wisconsin at 4-0. So yeah. yeah, you give a schedule break, I think, to Penn State, and that's why they're ranked higher than the Hawkeyes right now. I just keep coming back to what got 131 balanced. rushing yards tonight. So mm -hmm. uh, you know, only 52 in their last game against Colorado State is uh, okay. The explosive play, and one would think Penn State's got that perhaps a they little do. bit more so than Iowa. Just, he is. It's not. A, yep. He's not a Nick Saban guy in the strictest no. sense. No, he's more of a Pete Carroll guy. He's a Pete Carroll guy. And when yep. you look at some of the inventive things that he's doing now, man, that's going to cause some problems. There's another pick. Yeah, another interception. This one by Schulte in the right spot. And he's going right down the sideline with it. It's pushed out. Being a head coach for 25 or more years is is all about dealing with crises. And if yep. you cannot right. deal with crises... He will not last for 25 years. All that he's put together uh -huh. has opened up eyes and minds and, and ways, and there's a candid quality now about everybody.